Greetings travel enthusiasts. Welcome to your ultimate guide to the world, travel tips and tricks. We're here to satisfy your aviation curiosity. And today, we're taking you on a thrilling journey to the top 10 most dangerous airports across the globe. From runways that intersect with major roads to those carved out of sea ice, we've got an exciting countdown ready for you. Before we dive in, hit that subscribe button and join us on this thrilling journey. Buckle up, here we go. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have Madeira Airport in Portugal. This airport, located on a narrow strip of land, is notorious for its challenging wind conditions. Nestled between steep cliffs and the azure expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, the airport offers a breathtaking, if somewhat nerve-wracking, landing experience. The runway, initially a mere 1,600 meters in length, was extended to 2,781 meters by constructing a giant platform over the ocean. The expansion, however, did not alleviate the tricky wind conditions that pilots must navigate, which often results in turbulent landings. Madeira Airport is a testament to human ingenuity and the pioneering spirit of aviation. It's not just an airport, but a destination in itself, offering an adrenaline rush like no other. But remember, flying into Madeira is definitely not for the faint-hearted. Coming in at number 9, we have the ice runway in Barneo Arctic. This is not your run-of-the-mill airport. No, this one is a temporary runway carved straight out of the ice, and it's used exclusively for polar expeditions. Imagine this, you're flying over the vast, white expanse of the Arctic, and then suddenly, you're touching down on a runway that's as icy and chilly as the environment around it. It's a surreal experience, to say the least. The ice runway in Barneo is more than just an airport. It's a testament to human ingenuity a symbol of our determination to explore even the most remote corners of the Earth. But let's not forget, it's also a formidable challenge to even the most experienced pilots. After all, ice can be slippery and the Arctic weather is unpredictable. An icy adventure awaits those brave enough to land here. At number 8, we have the McMurdo Station Ice Runway in Antarctica. Now this isn't just your regular airport, this runway is literally carved out of sea ice, making it one of the most unique and perilous landing spots on the planet. It's not just the cold that makes this airport so formidable, but also the fact that the runway is in a constant state of flux. The sea ice moves and changes with the seasons, which means the runway has to be continually maintained and monitored for safety. But what's the purpose of this icy airstrip? Well, the McMurdo Station Ice Runway primarily serves scientific research stations. It's a vital lifeline connecting these remote outposts with the rest of the world. Supplies, personnel, and critical scientific equipment all land here before being transported to various research stations across the frozen continent. A landing here is like touching the edge of the world. Number seven on our list is the now-closed Kai Tak Airport in Hong Kong. A marvel of its time, Kai Tak Airport was nestled amidst the skyscrapers and mountains of Hong Kong. The airport was renowned for its dramatic approach over densely populated urban areas. Pilots had to master the infamous Hong Kong Turn, a sharp right turn which had to be made while descending, just moments before landing. This maneuver is still considered one of the most challenging in aviation history. The airport's urban location made for an incredible sight, with aircrafts appearing to skim the rooftops of the city's high-rises. The experience of landing at Kai Tak was not for the faint-hearted. Passengers often reported the surreal experience of being able to glimpse into the apartments of Hong Kong's residents as their plane descended onto the runway. Despite its closure in 1998, Kai Tak's thrilling approaches are remembered by pilots and passengers alike. At number 6, we have Gibraltar International Airport, an airport that truly redefines the term traffic control. This airport is uniquely situated in the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar, where the runway spectacularly intersects with a major road, Winston Churchill Avenue. Yes, you heard that right. An active runway and a bustling avenue cross paths here. Imagine you're driving along humming to your favorite tune when suddenly, the barriers go down, halting the traffic, and there, right in front of your eyes, an enormous aircraft makes its descent or readies for takeoff. Talk about a drive-in movie experience, this unusual arrangement is due to Gibraltar's compact size, where space is at a premium. The airport and the road have learned to coexist, coordinating closures for each landing and takeoff, ensuring the safety of both motorists and passengers. A landing here is a sight to behold, both from the plane and the road, so buckle up either in your seat or behind the wheel because this is one thrilling ride. 
Halfway through our countdown at number 5 is Courchevel Altaport in France. Nestled in the French Alps, this high-altitude airport offers a unique challenge for pilots. At an elevation of over 6,000 feet, it's one of the highest airports in Europe. But it's not just the altitude that makes it a tough landing spot. The runway at Courchevel Altaport is not your typical strip of tarmac. It's extremely short, just over 500 meters in length, and it features a steep gradient. This means pilots have to deal with a quick drop in altitude right before landing, making it a nail-biting experience for all on board. And if that wasn't enough, the airport is surrounded by snow-capped peaks, making navigation tricky to say the least. But for those brave enough to face the challenge, the reward is a stunning alpine landscape that's second to none. Courchevel Altaport adds a touch of adventure to any ski trip. At number 4, we have Princess Juliana International Airport in St. Martin. This airport, nestled in the heart of the Caribbean, is a spectacle that leaves spectators in awe and pilots on the edge of their seats. The runway, shorter than most, ends just meters away from the sun-kissed sands of Maho Beach. This unique positioning results in one of the most exhilarating airport experiences in the world, as aircraft fly incredibly low over the beach to touch down on the tarmac. This isn't a sight for the faint-hearted as the roar of the engines and the blast of the jet wash are intense. For aviation enthusiasts, this is a dream come true. The thrill of seeing a Boeing 747 so close you could almost touch it is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. But for pilots, it's a challenging task, requiring precision and skill in abundance. So whether you're an adrenaline junkie, a plane spotter, or just fancy a day at the beach with a difference Princess Juliana International Airport delivers, Get your cameras ready for this unforgettable landing experience. Coming in at number three, we have Tonkantan International Airport in Honduras. A challenging destination for even the most seasoned pilots, Tonkantan is nestled amidst a mountainous urban landscape. This airport isn't merely situated in the mountains, it's practically cradled by them, making it one of the most distinct and daunting airports in the world. But it's not just the mountains that make Tonkantan a challenge. The urban sprawl of Tegucigalpa, the city where the airport is located, further complicates landings and takeoffs. Consider the approach. Pilots must execute a sharp turn, often in less than ideal weather conditions, to align with the runway. And it's not just any runway, it's a mere 7,000 feet long, significantly shorter than most international runways. The departure, too, is no less thrilling. Aircraft must ascend rapidly to clear the nearby peaks, making for a breathtaking ascent. Maneuvering into Tonkantan is a true test of a pilot's skill. At number two, we have Paro Airport in Bhutan. This airport is not for the faint-hearted, as it's nestled among the towering peaks of the Himalayas. The approach to this airport requires a steep descent into a narrow valley that's surrounded by mountains as high as 18,000 feet. Not just any pilot can navigate this daring descent. Only a select few, currently less than two dozen, are qualified to land at Paro Airport. These pilots need to weave between the mountains to find the runway, which is only visible at the last moment. The adrenaline rush for the passengers is palpable as the plane makes its daring descent. A landing at Paro is not just a landing, it's an achievement, a thrilling start or end to any journey. It's not just the passengers who feel the thrill, but also the pilots, who consider it a badge of honor. Landing at Paro Airport is a breathtaking experience in more ways than one. And finally, at number one, we have Lukla Airport in Nepal. Nestled in the heart of the mighty Himalayas, this small airport is also known as Tenzing Hillary Airport, named after the first climbers to conquer Mount Everest. Its reputation precedes it, and for good reason. Lukla Airport is renowned for its short runway, a mere 500 meters in length and dramatically sloped with a gradient of almost 12%. This runway is a marvel, carved into the mountainside at an altitude of nearly 3,000 meters above sea level. It's like threading a needle in a rocky, icy wonderland. The airport is often the starting point for those brave enough to tackle the trek to Everest Base Camp. Pilots need to have razor-sharp precision and nerves of steel to land here, with the mountain on one side and a steep drop on the other. Lukla Airport, the gateway to Everest, tops our list of the world's most dangerous airports. There you have it, folks, the top 10 most dangerous airports in the world. From the challenging winds of Madeira to the icy runways of the Arctic and Antarctica, the urban maze of Hong Kong to the mountainous terrains of Nepal and Bhutan, 
These airports surely keep pilots on their toes. Each landing and takeoff is a testament to human ingenuity and skilled precision. Thank you for joining us on this exhilarating journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Travel Tips and Tricks for more thrilling content. Until next time, safe travels.